G'day, it's James. Welcome to the wine room. Today, it's Australia Day. It's January 26th, it's Australia Day. You're probably wondering, who's this fellow behind me? This is Captain Arthur Phillip, who led the first fleet of European settlers over to Australia. And when I say settlers, I mean convicts. So anyway, what am I gonna do to celebrate Australia Day? I'll tell you a little bit about some Australian wine, particularly where I'm from, the Hunter Valley wine region, uh, and then I'll go ahead and taste some of those, but probably off camera. Anyway, ready to roll. I grew up in the Hunter Valley wine region. That's about an hour and a half north of Sydney. It's a little bit hot there, so it's a bit hard to get some really, really, really good grapes. When I grew up there, I would be drinking things like Lindemann's, which, I mean, it's a good entry level wine. For like around about five or six bucks, you can't beat it. So do yourself a favor and try something like this. They also had Rosemount. Uh, you probably recognize that diamond label. And like I said, they normally didn't make really killer world cl class rapes there, but there's one that does, and that's Semion. It's this white wine that's not trusted anywhere in the world to be bottled by itself because it's so changeable. Why would you trust it? One year it's fantastic, next year it's not. One block is fantastic. The one right next to it is complete crap, except in the Hunter Valley. That's why this is kind of like one of the world-class wines that come from where I grew up. So this is a bottle of Broken Wood Semillon. Goes really, really well. What would I eat it with? Well, I'd probably have some scallops. You might want to call them scallops, but they're scallops. And I'd have those things, toast those things up really well with a little bit of butter, put some bacon on them, and oh my goodness, this would be the thing to go with it. Probably pairs well with a bit of asparagus as well. So why don't people trust Semillon? It's kind of, it's like your ex, the ex that you got rid of for a reason. They're there and it's like, oh wow, you're the best person in the world, James. Oh no, James, I hate your guts. Oh wow, James, you're fantastic. Oh, you're the, like a Greek god. Oh no, you're the spawn of the devil, I need to kill you. So that's why Semyon is so magical in the Hunter Valley because it's always, always, always good. You can also try some other entry-level Australian wines. It's always good to get an Australian wine. If you don't know how to pick a good wine, just grab one with a picture of an animal on the front and you're sure to not go too far astray. So, uh, but Yellowtail, uh, it was basically made by an Italian winemaker who went over to Australia and said, I wanna make a really, really, really good entry-level wine. And he succeeded quite well. Then you get to some of the really cool places in Australia. I'll eventually do a video on basically Australian wine and the best places to go to. But if you go to the Barossa Valley, you can't go wrong. That was where back in the 1800s, the German settlers came over, they brought wine with them and they nailed it. So we've got one here, it's a uh, Barossa Valley GSM. That's uh, three magical grapes, the Holy Trinity. Uh, and they go really, real, really well together. To have something like this, I would try it with uh, some lamb, leg of lamb, some black truffles if you can get them. Uh, goes really well with a steak or pretty much anything you like. This one here is uh, Thorn Clark and these guys are from out in Barossa and they really do a phenomenal job. Uh, the Shiraz, that's pretty much Australia's favorite grape. Uh, so again, do yourself a favor and try that. This little guy here, this is uh, Clarendon Hills. This is pretty hard to get over here, but the guy's kind of like a, uh, uh, a crazy mad scientist with the way that he mixes wines and that, but he always knocks it out of the park. Again, this is from over Adelaide Way, South Australia. That's where the Barossa Valley is. And I started off talking about criminals. In Australia, you could get sent there for 19 different crimes. Stuff like stealing a hanky from a uh, rich person, They've got bigamy in there. Another one is delivering letters and keeping the money that you would have paid to the post office. And another one is impersonating an Egyptian. So I don't know what that is. But anyway, on my mum's side or my dad's side, they never came over on the first fleet. But I got some criminal background in my history. So tell me in the comments below, is it me mum or me dad? Come on, don't be shy guys. Tell me which one it is and what did he come over for? Hey, in some upcoming videos, I'm gonna tell you lots of different things about how to pick really good wines, why you shouldn't probably drink wines that are worth about $5, and hey, I'm not judging, I used to go in there and I'd look for a label. Rosemount, when they started out, 
they sold, some more came out. When they put the diamond label on there, they literally increased their sales 300%. So sometimes picking labels really, really works out. Got lots of other ideas and that sort of stuff. Tell me in the comments below, what do you want to know about wine? Let's explore this thing together. Anyway, please like, subscribe. Don't hit the notification bell because you'll get alerts at all hours of the night and then you'll hate me. So just make sure you like it and subscribe. Thanks very much and be good to yourself.